welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I am Rio. As you can see, we're continuing the spring videos and today's video is all about the spring jackets. One of the previous videos was about spring comfy wear and today we're continuing that by talking about some of the outer pieces that you can rock during the spring. I have six different types of jackets that you can wear this time of year. And I guess really you can wear them any time of year if, if the weather permits it. But of course, with spring being one of those transitional seasons, the weather is perfect for these jackets. Anyway, I don't wanna to waste too much time. Let's hop in to the jackets. All of the jackets I'm gonna be showing you today were recently picked up in the past couple months. Some of them may still be available. Some of them, of course, may not be. I will do my best to link whatever I can find down below in the description section for you guys. So if you're interested in anything I show in this video, if it's available, you can find those links down below. I'm gonna be showing these pieces from the lightest to the heaviest. So first up, we have denim jackets. This piece in particular is one of my recent pickups. And as you can see, it is this somewhat of a light pink, over dyed pink denim jacket. I just blanked for a moment there from All Saints. This I found on sale. So I don't know if it's gonna be available again. I'll try to link whatever I can down below. And it's a super lightweight. It is a stretchy fabric. This time of year, of course, with spring, I think this kind of pink is perfect. It works very well. You don't have to go up to something this color if it's not for you, of course, but a denim jacket should definitely be in your spring rotation, your spring wardrobe, your spring closet. You may want to wear a light denim jacket like this. Next up, we have lightweight puffer jackets. As you can see, I have one in black and one in like a goldish light brown color. They're both from Uniqlo. The black one has a hood at the back and this one, as you can see, does not. Both of these are size medium. They may be available, so I will link them down below. But again, these are some of the best and perfect options that you can utilize during this time of year. They are extremely lightweight. They are very versatile in how you can wear them. They can be worn as a standalone jacket. They can be used as layering pieces so you can layer with them during the winter time if you want to. They both are packable, so they do pack down into a little pouch that's built into the jacket. Interior that I'll find here for you, boom right there. Each jacket can be rolled up and packed into these pouches to conserve some space for easy travel, easy mobility, whatever the case may be. This color, I really didn't necessarily want it to be in a long sleeve jacket form. I wanted it in the vest because I find that this is going to be something that I would most likely layer with. And with layering it, you may not want to have the fabric on the sleeves so it fits underneath uh, longer coats or other jackets and it just more as a under layer, kind of like a vest almost, just allowing the frontal portion to be seen. That's kind of how I preferred to wear this one, but the vest was out of stock and I preferred to have this color in my wardrobe at this moment than opposed to not to. Light puffer jackets are a go and I definitely recommend for you guys to have one of these in your spring wardrobe. Before we hop into the next type of jacket, please keep in mind that these aren't things that I'm telling you that you should go out and buy, or these are things that you necessarily must have or need to have. If it fits your style and if it works within what you wear and how you wear things, these are definitely things that you can utilize in your spring closet, your spring wardrobe, to kind of keep you a little bit stylish and keep you, keep things a little bit different. This one has been a very popular one for quite a while. And I would imagine a lot of you guys wear these type of jackets. Heck, I am wearing one right now. Bomber jackets, of course, is it's a staple, it's essential. I know a lot of you guys wear them, a lot of us have them. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on, on this, but bomber jackets are definitely a must. This particular one is from H&M. The one I'm wearing right now, some of you guys may be wondering, it is from ASOS. The versatility of a bomber jacket is definitely there. Depending on the fit of the bomber jacket, depending on the material, there's so many different ways and things you can do with it. That's why it made this list. And in most cases, any kind of jacket list that I do, the bomber jacket will have a feature. As you can see here, I have a gray one to your right and this beige one to your left. The gray is from Uniqlo and then the beige is from H&M. Extremely comfortable. They are very, very lightweight. And again, 
for that reason, they make perfect spring jackets. Uniqlo does an amazing job at the price point that they sell theirs at. And this one at H&M is not bad, um, but as far as quality goes, the Uniqlo knocks it out the park. This one, it's it's not as soft. It's a little bit more of a, a rugged feel, but of course you guys know I love my earth tone. So this beige color just, it, it works. These are definitely pieces that I would certainly recommend for spring and a spring wardrobe and a spring closet. Next up is a type of jacket, which I guess you can consider it a jacket, but it's technically not, but we're gonna consider it one because that's kind of how you would wear it. These have been, I guess, climbing in popularity recently. And I myself in particular have, you know, really been feeling them quite a bit. You guys have been seeing them on the channel. You guys have been seeing me talk about them, haul videos about them, and that is over shirts. This one in particular is from Zara, and I think Zara have been killing it with their over shirts these past several months. I've probably bought like six or seven of them, which I gotta chill, but I saw this one, it was on sale and you know, I just liked it. And of course we got the Sherpa lining in there. I definitely recommend these types of jackets this time of year, as well as the fall, of course, because we have similar weather. If you haven't already, check over shirts out. Right now, probably one of my favorite jackets, kind of slash coats to wear. As long as they are lightweight, which the one I'm gonna show you right now is lightweight, it is a go, it is a must for me. Really, versatility is the key. Is That's, you know, my style is really versatile and I talk about versatility all the time. So I like to show you guys things that are, of course, versatile. This one in particular, as you can see, is a trench coat slash overcoat. This one has characteristics of both, it has, a hood which is removable it is also water resistant so it kind of has like that wax coating to it a little bit and as the saying goes may shut wait no i said it wrong april showers bring may flowers you know you got to prepare yourself for the elements especially with this time of year where depending on where you are you may have quite a bit of rain and this is something that can help you uh combat those elements as you can see this one has a zippered enclosure down the front it is from mango Mango Man, and I really, really like it. I, if it's available, of course, I will link it down below for you guys. This is a size medium. Every jacket I've shown you this far is a size medium. That's, of course, the size that I wear. Make sure you guys follow me over on IG because, of course, you'll be seeing quite a few of these, um, you know, and some fit pics along the way. So make sure you follow me over there if you aren't. We have this beautiful hound's tooth. I don't know why I struggle to say that word. Hound's tooth. Hound's tooth. Tooth. We have this beautiful hound's tooth coat jack. I've not forgot what it's called. Uh, I, jacket coat. You can call it both. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it falls in the category of both. As you can see, it has this beautiful plaid pattern uh, all over it. Um, I have the top three buttons button, but as you can see, there's buttons down the front as well. What I like the most about this one is that it is reversible. I'm gonna turn it back to. <laughs> I am losing it, man. I was going to say it's reversible, turn it around, but it's that's showing you the same exact pattern, real. Like, what are you doing? Inside is a different color. Uh, we have a beige slash khaki interior uh, with the house tooth exterior. And if you flip it around, of course, that reverses that whole pattern. Although, because the exterior is like a almost like a, a wool feel, I don't know if it is wool, but I, maybe it's some kind of wool blend. When you wear it inside out or the other way, the collar is now flipped and it's touching your neck and it's. It doesn't feel good. So of course, this is something that you could probably wear with let me like a turtleneck. So this material isn't sitting directly against your skin. That's probably something I would do. Out of every piece that I've shown you today, this is definitely the heaviest one. Again, it could serve a purpose for this kind of weather, but as soon as we start to, I guess, break 65 and up, this may not be the option. But below, I think this is perfect. All of these were somewhat recent pickups. Again, I will drop links down below in the description section for you. So if you're interested, feel free to check out those links. Everything was a size medium, again, for size and references. I know sometimes that may get glossed over. So everything was a size medium. Thank you guys for watching. Again, follow me over on IG. You guys can see how some of these things are styled and you know how I wear them and whatnot. More content on the way, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next video. Peace.